Hey guys, what's happening? I wanted to put out this video today, sort of touch base and get you guys up to speed on what's going to be happening over the next week or so. Well, at the end of this week, rather. Uh, for those of you that do not know, I am uh, heading back up to Canada in a couple days here, Friday actually. And it's been a whole big process of packing up my stuff. I've been down here in the States visiting my family and stuff. Had some big family events. Grandmother had her 80th birthday. My sister had a baby. Stuff like that, you know. Stuff I wanted to be here for and stuff like that. But uh, now I'm heading back home to Canada. And I'm just going to be swamped. So Friday, there's probably not going to be a video. I have uh, procrastinated a bit too long. And now it's uh, Wednesday and uh, I gotta get a lot of crap done so there may not be a video Friday in fact there probably will not be a video Friday well I will land in Friday er, wow I will land on Friday at around 11:15 uh, uh, mountain time so maybe by the time I'm settled Friday I can get a video out Saturday if not it might be Monday until you see my next video it's not the end of the world I know I know you're gonna miss me it can't be avoided but uh, I got stuff to do and I'm going to be pretty busy so if uh, Friday rolls around and you don't see any uh, videos from me that's probably why but hey I got a whole collection of videos you can go back and rewatch I bet none of you guys have seen every video I've ever made if you have actually if you if you think you've seen every video I've ever made let me know that would be uh, kinda interesting or let's say take a guess at how many of my videos you have watched let me know how many of those that would be kind of interesting to uh, see how many of you guys have watched all of them, if any of you. I, w I do not hold it against you if you have not watched every video I've ever made. That's uh, perfectly fine, guys. But, uh, yeah. This is some StarCraft II footage captured yesterday with uh, some friends. Those friends are Holy Hand Grenade, uh, Adaptable Footin, Futon, sorry, you know Futon, and uh, Stoneface Lock. We decided that we were going to pile on the StarCraft II. Now we are the uh, we are the stereotypical noobs at StarCraft, so uh, we had some fun kicking the asses of uh, the enemy AI. This is not against players, but it is us practicing our build orders, practicing our strategy, practicing our teamwork, as you're going to see here, against AI, and it was a lot of fun. Even if you guys are like, oh, I like RTS games, it looks so good, but I'm going to be so bad at it, don't worry about it. If you never want to go play, play like a ranked serious match, and even that's not serious, I mean, who cares, you lose. But uh, if you never even want to do that, there are so many uh, fun little things you can do just playing with friends against AI or playing by yourself against AI or just uh, little custom games against your friends. It's, it's a lot of fun. It's uh, oh, Don't even get me started on the campaign, how epic of an experience that is. Holy hell, that thing is amazing. But yeah. This build that uh, I went with here is a uh, Phoenix Heavy build, which is basically relies on air support, uh, superiority to get into their bases and attack their economy. By attacking their economy, you're going to see me using my Phoenixes to pick up ground units and then kill them while they're in the air, because the Phoenix can only attack air units. And they're very uh, fast, and very maneuverable, but they do not have a lot of hit points. They will get crushed. But, when you team up a Phoenix that is so fast and agile and you team it up with a void ray played by holy hand grenade that can do amazing damage on ground targets and has some beefy hit points now you're talking so all throughout this little bit you see my squad of phoenixes zipping through picking up ground units killing them while he destroys the buildings in the heavier armored uh, ground units so uh, it, it worked very well we just started it we had uh, toyed around with it before I think we both saw it in a tutorial by HD StarCraft. Amazing videos. If you guys love StarCraft, go search YouTube for HD StarCraft. Such good videos. I could only hope to be as good of a player, let alone as good of a StarCraft II commentator as those guys. It is so awesome to see that stuff. Okay, but yeah, that was uh, what we were doing. It was a ton of fun. This build uh, can be very fast, as you can see. Uh, Stoneface gets in on it at the end. I don't think Futon ever does anything. I don't think. I don't know. I'd have to check the reports again, but uh, I zoomed over to his base a couple times, and all you really see is him building defenses, building defenses. He's a little paranoid about being rushed early, but uh, that paranoia is not uh, unfounded. They will rush you, and it will hurt early on. But, oh well, what can you do? 
you'll notice I actually have this little trickle of phoenixes coming in as I've been trying to work on uh, Hot King, my build factories. So that way, even while I'm down there attacking, I set the rally points of my uh, Stargates to one of my units. So that way, every time a unit is built, it flies right down to wherever my main uh, army is. And so I always have this trickle of reinforcements coming in. That's why you see my number either staying the same amount of Phoenixes or never really shrinking. Or in some cases, it just expands early on because they just can't kill me. Okay, uh, I guess that's that, really. There's not too much to talk about. StarCraft 2, again, is an awkward uh, type of game for me to commentate over. It is so different than MW2 or Battlefield, but I love it. I want to get good at it. The best way I can think is how these guys treat the uh, StarCraft 2 commentary as almost like it's a sports casting gig at like a football game or something, you know, like a play-by-play. -play. But uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, it's going to take some practice. I will probably continue to suck at StarCraft 2 commentary for a while, but hopefully once I get a little bit better, a little further along, I would like to get into some actual real games with competitive against players that I don't know, and we'll see how I do. I think right now I have a 5-2 and two or a 5-3 and three record against players I don't know in the little practice league, so that's kind of cool. I've been uh, trying to work on that and keep my record good. But I know it's going to sink the moment I really start playing any more than what I am. So we'll see what happens. It's fun, though, nonetheless. Okay, uh, I don't really have much to talk about, so I'm instead of sitting here going, um, uh, um, what do I say, um, eh... Uh, I am just going to cut this short, let you guys enjoy the final destruction of this game, and I'm going to start this thing rendering because I got shit to do. See you guys, possibly Monday.